Hi, this is Joel from Add Design Group, and today I'll be covering how to um, import content from WordPress into Drupal. Um, and for all purposes, I'm using Drupal 7 and WordPress version 3.3.2. Great, so the first step here is to go ahead and log into your WordPress admin. And you can tell here I'm at the dashboard view. I've clicked on tools and then export. And you'll want to grab this uh, WXR file, which is what WordPress calls extended RSS, and click download export file. Um, after that downloads, you'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, I had an issue where this kept timing out, and I had to increase the PHP set timeout limit. So that's something to keep in mind if your XML file has 500 errors towards the bottom of it. Next, after your file has exported fully, um, the mig WordPress migrate module requires extremely valid um, RSS or XML, and the easiest way to get that is to run a um, command line utility called XML Lint. Um, so I'm where my file has been exported. And I'll run this. Cool, and I see that there's an error immediately. So this ampersand has not been escaped, and it tells me exactly where to find that on line 29. So I'm going to go in my XML file, fix that, and rerun that utility again. All right, and it, I'll print it out. So my XML is valid, and I'm good to go. So keep that in mind. That's called XML lint. Great, and we're almost ready for our migration now. So we have a valid XML file. Let's install a few modules. We'll need Migrate, a sub-module of Migrate called WordPress Migrate, which prevents us from writing code. Uh, path Auto, so we can keep our, our clean URL paths from our old WordPress site. And Migrate Extras, that allows us to migrate uh, clean URLs and other things. Great, so I'm at my Drupal 7 install. I've installed those modules we've talked about. I've clicked on Find Content and then the WordPress Migration tab, and we're ready to import our file. So we'll just navigate and find our exported XML file. And then we'll convert WordPress post to article, convert WordPress pages to basic page, Default format for text fields, you can set that to whatever you want. Convert WordPress tags to tags and categories to categories. I did need to set up these extra taxonomy terms. And I'm going to set path aliases to their original WordPress values. And click WordPress, import WordPress blog. There are options if you have a really large blog to import to use Drush to do that. And I would recommend that if you have a large import. Right, so we had a successful import. Um, you can tell that we imported um, all our posts and pages uh, successfully here. And I've opened Find Content in a new tab so we can see the various pieces of content that were imported. Go ahead and click edit on one of those posts just so we can see the imported content. You can see our tags were imported correctly and categories. And even our URL alias is, is correct um, and set to the same alias as before. So it's a really quick way to get your content imported from WordPress. Hope you enjoyed this screencast and check back to the Atten Design Group blog for uh, more screencasts like this in the future.